Hello everyone, this is Triple Seven Die Hard Forever coming at you with another anticipated model. This is a blue box ANA All Nippon Airways Boeing Triple Seven Three Eight One ER, uh, the Tokyo 2020 Special Edition. Uh, this is, model is in commemorative of the uh, 2020 Olympics. The 32nd Olympiad will be held on July 24th through August 9th. 2020 in Tokyo, Japan is also in commemoration of the Summer uh, Paralympics to be held August 25th to September 6th of that same year, 2020 in Tokyo, Japan as well. Uh, this model here is a is a blue box, but however, it was made out of the same mold as Gemini jets and JC wings. So from now on, my guess is blue box will make all their stands in the same mold as Gemini Jets and JC Wings. Yes, the Gemini Jets uh, stand will fit this model. It didn't come with the stand. I had to buy that stand. That's okay. It's still a beautiful model. I bought this model from uh, Waffle Collectibles, Michael Waffle. Uh, he did an awesome job and making sure I got it here on time and everything. I got it here today is uh, May 6, 2014. Uh, he had ordered another batch of this model because he sold out the first batch. So, uh, you probably don't want to sleep on this model because this is going to be a collector's item. You know, the, uh, the Olympics is only six months, six years away. Uh, you probably want to get on this. This will be a collector's item. So with that said, um, I'm going to go into details of the box. As you can see right there, that's ANA, All Nippon Airways. That's a five-star uh, airline, according to Skytrack Magazine. And then there's the... Uh, the little logo for the Olympiad uh, Olympics uh, in Tokyo. Uh, they was also in competition with uh, Istanbul, Turkey, and Madrid, Spain. Uh, let y'all a little secret you don't know by now. Tokyo won the nod, so they'll host the next Olympiad after Rio de Janeiro when they host theirs uh, in two years in 2016. That should be exciting. So here's the details on the box. Now I'm going to turn the back of it on the same way. It's a very detailed box here. And that's the Gemini stand. It does, it didn't come with a Gemini stand. I used it as an alternative stand, but it does fit, so you should be okay on that. And then I'm show you the top of the box. I was skeptical about it because most uh, B uh, blue boxes didn't come with no stand. They didn't even have a hole to go with them. But I was skeptical about it. But once I saw it on the uh, block, uh, I was okay. So with that said, I'm going to uh, turn you upside down the box on this side. So with that said, I'm getting ready to show you the model. There you go, folks. That's just beautiful. This is my uh, second triple seven three hundred ER. I had a plain one though. I did a uh, I posted a video on it like last year sometime, and uh, this is my my fifth tri triple seven model from All Nippon Airways. So with that said, I'm going to go in details with this model here. Okay, there we go. Uh, right there, that's the Star Alliance logo. You no, know, then Star Alliance with United, uh, Thai Airways, uh, Singapore Airlines, uh, some other major carry hit hard hitters in the uh, lines, all that stuff. Uh, and there's the uh, partial registration 734. There's the. Uh, front cargo container door and there's the ANA logo across the uh, fuselage and then there's the Tokyo uh, logo Tokyo 2020 logo 
Japan's bid to host the 2020 Olympic and the Paralympic Games in Tokyo. They already won that bid, just in case you haven't know. And then there's the uh, big logo right there. That's their bid. Olympic, it says Tokyo 2020 Applicant City. So with that said, then there's the GE90 engines. You no, know, that's the down, that's downside number one. They ain't got the big engines like they did the previous 777s I've shown though. So that's the only flaw there. And then flaw number two, the gears, the gears ain't high you know, as the other triple sevens, but that's okay. It's still a good model. And then there's the uh the rake wing tips right here. Um on the uh triple seven three hundred yard, the beacon light, the green beacon light, and then uh then there's the uh, rear cargo container door, and then there's the boat bend door. Bring that a little closer. Then there's the Japanese flag, uh, represents Japan. This is the, one of the national carriers of Japan. They're based out of Narita along with Japan Airlines. Uh, they, fly, they also fly in the Haninda uh, Airport. That's also in Tokyo as well. And then there's the registration number, JA734A. JA 734A and then there's the uh, NA uh, title along the tail there with the light blue and a dark dark blue that's pretty cool and neat and then I'm gonna turn it around this way and that's the APU right there folks the APU uh, yeah it's a little smeared up but that's okay though JA that's the registration I'm JA 734A that's fine then there's the uh, the Japanese flag pretty tell and then there's the uh, rake wing tips on this one yeah, and then there's the red beacon light and then there you go I've seen this video on uh, YouTube live, you know, pretty interesting. They said Tokyo 2020, Japan, Japan's bid to host the 2020 Olympic and Paralympic Games in Tokyo. They already won the bid, so. And then there's a little logo right there. Tokyo 2020, uh, Applicant City. Then there's the uh, NA logo uh, along the fuselage. Then there's the Star Alliance logo right there. Boom. The partial registration there then the front cockpit window then the windshield wipers pretty impressive there and then now um, there's the gear lights you can barely see them but they dare um, it's rolled barely though it rolled but that's okay now I'm gonna put this on a stand There you go, folks. There it is. Live and direct. Wow. This is a beauty, though. If you ain't got this model, it just came out. Some places it sold out and had to reorder it. Uh, this will become a collector's item. So, just letting you know. As you get closer to the Olympics, uh, this will be in high demand models. So, just be ready. Okay, there's the beacon light there. Let's get this thing close. Okay, there's the beacon light. And then there's the antenna. Then you slow back here. A little hump there. That's for Wi-Fi mobile internet usage. And then there's the uh, another antenna. Okay, and there's the... Uh, wing walkway there then there's the uh, registration number JA 734A the wing chip on that end and then there's the ring walkway on this side and then the Japanese uh, flag symbol represents the country of Japan and now I'm getting ready to uh, this does spin that spin but the downside here, this one doesn't, so that don't spin. That's the only downside. There's three downsides there, but it's still a great aircraft model. So with that said, here we 
There you go. See how it's on the stand. Most B box model, blue box model didn't have this at, at first, but they will now. So, with that said. Okay, I'm trying to take this off here. Of course, you know they didn't have the tractable wheels like the Philippine Airlines and the uh, Cathay Pacific and the Emirates, though the new Emirates. So, but it's still a great model. I highly recommend it. Uh, with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate and subscribe and leave me your comments. I love to hear from you. In the meanwhile, take care. God bless.